Aloha, heathens! It's Sunday, and you know what that means. It's time for Bible readings with Nancy. And this is a good one today. You better buckle up. Be ready to get mad. We're reading Leviticus 21 from the um, New International Version, the NIV. Uh, rules for priests, basically. I'm going to try to go fast, but it's hard because you're going to get mad. It starts pretty, pretty mundane pretty mundane. The Lord said to Moses, speak to the priests and the sons of Aaron and say to them, a priest must not make himself ceremonially unclean for any of his people who die, except for a close relative, such as his mother or father, his son or daughter, a brother, unmarried sister who is dependent on him since she has no husband. For her, he may make himself unclean. He must not make himself unclean for people related to him by marriage and so defile himself. Priests must not shave their heads or shave off the edges of their beards or cut their bodies. Um, prosperity gospel people, y'all listen to this, you read the Bible, but anyway, they must be holy to their God and not, must not profane the name of their God because they present the food offering to the Lord, the food of God, they are to be holy. They must not marry women defiled by prostitution or divorced from their husbands because priests are holy to their God. Regard them as holy because they offer up the food of your God. Consider them holy because I, the Lord, am holy. I who make you holy. But them damn bitches, they, they had to go um, prostitute themselves uh, or divorced. <laughs> them bitches. The high priest, one among, uh, I need a fucking smoke on that. <clears throat> In case you haven't gotten the idea, the Bible fucking hates women. <laughs> fucking hates women. Okay, and they want to make this our law in America. So, fuck you. So, I'm going to keep going. All right. The high priest, the one among his brothers who has the anointing oil poured on his head, who has been ordained to wear the priestly garments, must not let his hair become unkempt or tear his clothes. He must not enter a place where there is a dead body fucking superstitious bullshit he must not make himself unclean even for his father or mother nor leave the sanctuary of his god or desecrate it because he has been dedicated to the anointing oil of his god <laughs> i am the lord the woman he marries must be a virgin he must not marry a widow because fuck her how dare her husband die on her she must have been a horrible horrible woman okay a divorced woman who uh, basically her husband threw her away to the wolves and now she's cursed and dirty. Or a woman defiled by prostitution, but only a virgin from his own people because we're not racist. <laughs> so that he will not defile his offspring among his people. I am the Lord who make him holy. You know, the own people thing kind of made sense back then. It makes no fucking sense now, right? Back then they were, you know, tribes were smaller and they needed to have population. Needless to say... We have plenty of population. Anyway, the Lord said to Moses, Say to Aaron, for the generations to come, none of your descendants who has had a defect may come near to offer the food his God. May come near to offer the food of his God. So, none of your... No defects. <laughs> no defects. No man who has any defect may come near. No man who is blind, lame, disfigured, or deformed. No man with a crippled foot or hand or who is hunchback or dwarf, or who has any eye defect, <laughs> or who has festering or running sores or damaged testicles. <laughs> what? <clears throat> no descendant of Aaron the priest who has any defect is to come near to present food offerings to the Lord. He has a defect. He must not come near to offer the food of his God. He may eat the most holy food of his God, as well as the holy food. Yet because of his defect, he must not go near the curtain or approach the altar. And so desecrate my sanctuary. I am the Lord who makes them holy. He is the Lord who made them that way and then tells them their fucking defects. Who can who are cannot sully his 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 um sanctuary and his altars and shit it's like so moses um told this to aaron and his sons and to all the israelites really sad 
<laughs> Evangelical fundamentalist, fuck off. I need to smoke on that.